on the bottom of your Visto tester. Okay? Now, you need a point that, that you put the liquid in. All right? Your Visco tester has to have a point. Um, it could be one of, see these have these little rings inside. So you can decide it's going to be one of these rings. So if I take the water, and you could, you could just measure it. So you could say I'm going to have, you know, 50 milliliters of a substance. Whatever it is, got to be consistent every time. Okay, that's the only way to do a standard curve. All right, so you get it up to that circle where you want it. You get somebody that has a stopwatch, okay? You hold it over the cup. By the way, if you have a ring stand or something like that, and you're doing this, it would be a lot easier to do, okay? Okay, you're going to pull the tape off very quickly, and somebody's going to start timing at that exact minute, okay? So I'm going to do that. It starts to flow. The rules tell you that when the stream breaks its flow is when you stop the stopwatch. Okay, so watch. It's right there. Okay, so you have to be consistent with that. Now you got to clean that out and use your little tape. Now let me just tell you. Now I have a question about cleaning it out. Mm -hmm. With corn syrup and all of the other sticky things, yeah, normally fun. I spray before I pour something into my measuring dishes. Are we? Should we spray? I think that's a good that? idea. Okay. We did it. Um, if you use oil, obviously you're going to have to use soap to get all that. Right. Get all that out. The other thing, though, is if you get good with making your hole, it shouldn't change. So you can use different. I mean, these are cheap to make, right? Um, and so what happens is, let me just show you because I know 